Once again, we're with uh, Euro Sea Sucks. We're here with Mr. Tony Fleece. Hello. Uh, Mr. Fleece, before I go into anything, mm-hmm. explain to the few people that don't know who you are, who are you, and what do you do? Uh, I work for My Little Pony comic books for IDW. Uh, yep. I draw covers and interiors. I've done uh, a bunch of the micro series comics, and I did the annual with the Equestria Girls. And right now, I mainly work on uh, My Little Pony. Friends, friendship forever, friends forever. Uh, I believe that is what it is. Oh, yeah. no. That's my job. <laughs> All I know is that you did the uh, ML, the Equestria Girls um, annual, yeah. right? Yeah, that one. And that one was actually really great. I really love that oh, one. Oh, thanks, man. Um, I was able to pull up the uh, in, the picture of your OC from the uh, BabsCon promo. Yeah. Now, who drew this? <laughs> I do not know who drew the. Uh, I like this artist. A lot of fun going on here. Yeah. Uh, there it says it. Oh, really? Streets. I don't know. Yeah. Sorry. But, okay, so uh, tell us a little bit about your OC. Uh, obviously, it's uh, I, Earth Pony? Yeah, I would guess so. I know very little to nothing about my OC. All right. Uh, someone made it for me. I think in one of these scenarios where I was going to be at a convention and they needed to have an OC for me, or we maybe met at a signing and they wanted to make an OC for me. <laughs> it's just me. Uh, I would imagine it's a comic book artist who lives in the equestria version of North Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, there's probably North some like... North Ponywood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's always pony puns like Las Pegasus, uh, Baltimore, and yeah. silly things like that. Uh, so that kind of answered my next question, that uh, you kind of didn't have any bit of a uh, say in your OC. I had you? n- no input. It just looks like a thin version of me <laughs> uh, with the beard. No mustache, though, which I don't... Sort of like an Abe it, Lincoln. It needs one a little bit. I mean, right. you've got the full beard. You have to have it. Yeah, but with the pony, if it doesn't, like, if they just do a goatee sometimes, because it's hard to make it go all the way back mm-hmm. and connect with the mane, uh, yeah. it's a very difficult situation. I luckily don't have to do too many bearded ponies nice. in the comics, because it's, it's, a, it's always trouble. Right on. So, uh, that being said, if you had a, a chance to adjust anything or change anything other than connecting the beard or doing anything else? Well, with respects to the original artist, who I, I'm not even sure who, who did it, but, <laughs> but uh, big, big ups, uh, <laughs> I don't think I would change a thing. Uh, the, the, oh, the cutie mark is like a pencil of some sort. Maybe that's what I would change. I would change it to the kind of pencil that I use, just a black pencil. Just a regular black pencil? Yeah, not a... Not a yellow, not like I'm in the fourth grade. <laughs> not a typical like, number two. Pink, yeah. Right on. Yeah, um, as a hat, I, I don't know. Hopefully underneath the hat it is hiding its secret bald shame. Uh, that would be really the way to drive it home, I think. But there's greatness and authority behind sometimes having a nice bald head. Yeah, like, a, like an eagle or a Captain eagle, Picard. Eagle, Picard, I was just about to say. There's many <laughs> That's great... That's it. Those are the only two. Or uh, enemy fighters. They're all... Bald and they're they kick ass. Yeah, I think right? by choice though, right? Yeah. They just don't want to get their hair pulled. By occupation, yeah, mm-hmm. occupational hazard. Um, so, uh, going back to the comics a little bit, uh, what drove you to start the drawing for the uh, IDW Pony series? Um, I was just talking with the editor and showing him samples for, you know, trying to drum up work, and that was when they were trying to get the license. I don't know if they had the license, and they were just trying to get a book going. And so I did My Little Pony samples. They asked me to, and I did them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, that was the last time I had to draw for free. But, like, I just did one free sample, and like a drug dealer. Yeah, first one's free. Then they started coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I got the job, the job. I hadn't seen the show except for, like, an episode in a hotel room at that point. And yeah. I was really worried that it was going to be terrible. And then I was very happy that it was not terrible. That's something interesting because the uh, overall like art style of the show isn't necessarily uh, a, uh, an, a, an exact match to the comics because mm-hmm. there, there is that little bit of a deviation. You can definitely see it in the micro series with the original main six. And uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, they, everybody's got their own take on them. Yeah, so it's that little bit of like taking a sidestep in the art style that it really helps. Uh, in some cases with darker themes like the chrysalis or the uh, nightmare art, mm-hmm. there's a, almost a different style to it. While in like the Fluttershy uh, piece or a couple of the other ones, it can bring in a lot more brighter, happier colors yeah. by the different artists. And I really think that's really cool. Yeah, I when I first started working, it was all about trying to draw like the show. You know, like, oh, this is what the fans want. They want the show. And 
I feel like my stuff got a lot better when I just was like, oh, I should just do my style because, like, uh, I was, was working on it early on, and so everybody was just doing, like, I don't know what we should be doing here, and then as more people started working on it, you'd see people do their own style, and like, oh, that's how it should be, you know, like Amy Meverson, when she did her arc, like, has a whole different style, and it's just, like, super cool, it's like, oh, well, that's how you should do it. Yeah. So, uh, I feel like I really grew, sort of came into my own uh, as soon as I started doing my own thing, rather than trying to do the on-model, like, flash animation looking yeah. My Little Pony stuff. As an animator, I am trying to, like, emulate that style as much as possible, and even in my artwork, it's like vector arts and whatnot, it's like, if you're not exactly on, people are just going to roll into you and be like, you're, you're off, your strokes are weird. And yeah, like, if, you're, <laughs> if you're not going to be 100%, then just go your own way. You know? Yeah, you can go, like, and do whatever. And it's really great. Yeah, don't miss by it. Don't miss by an inch. Miss by a mile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like, and it's like, oh, it's from an artist yeah, interpretation. Exactly. And you can get away with anything. Um, I'm at a loss. Normally, uh, I have two other people that I can bounce questions off of. But they're at Denny's. They're at Denny's. Disrespectfully, I gotta say, this is the the most shoddily run operation I've ever seen. <laughs> I was sitting here for like five minutes with nobody, and then you show up and you tell me everyone's off like having grand slams. <laughs> What's uh, their OC? They have their sucky OCs. Yeah, let's, 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 let's talk about their point. OCs. Now uh, they suck. Their, no, not camera, gallery. What am I doing? I don't know how to work my own phone. All right, so the piece that I'm going to be pulling up right now is a piece by uh, a lovely artist called... Uh, Lethal Aurora Mage. She did a wonderful piece of all of our four OCs, and it's great. Is that a boogie piece? Uh, close. Let's see where did it go. Here is our four. If you want to take a look, it'll right. rotate in a second. You can probably guess which one's mine just by sure. facial hair alone. Nice. Uh, I am it, in order in that piece. It is uh, the white one is me, Mummified Thunderbirds. Uh -huh. The green one is Commander Sparkle. The uh, blue one is Many Bubble, and the purple one is Smooth Sailing. Right on. So, obviously, I mean, I don't know what your take on it. I would love to hear what your take is actually on the ponies. Um, I like the uh, I like the body style on yours. You've got, like, a Flim Flam Brothers yeah. body style. That's fun. I'm doing a Flim Flam Brothers book right now. So, <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm totally, Coming fall, totally aware of their big square butt <laughs> and how that works. I like these drawings. I mean, even more than the OCs, the... The pony styles are really nice. Yeah. Lethal has been a treat to know her. She's, yeah. I believe, in like Argentina or Europe or oh, really? Cambodia or someplace. I don't know. In Cambodia. Yeah. She's somewhere and be like, yeah, it'd be great to see you at a con. She's like, oh, I don't live in the U.S. Yeah. I have my donut shop people are all from Cambodia. They don't, they can't come, come and go as easily as they'd like, <laughs> it turns out. <laughs> um... Wow, I like this one's hair. What's the, what's this one? The that one that is uh, the one the blue one's Medi Bobo. Yeah, Medi Bobo. Medi Bobo. Medi Bobo. Medi Bobo. Yeah. Medi Bobo. I like the hairstyle. It's real fun. I like, I like the glasses. Yeah. It's tough to do in a profile. Oh yeah. Pull it off very well. I like this helmet head. <laughs> That's smooth hair sailing. Over here, it's cool. It's like a, it's like Nightmare Moon's helmet, but. Uh, Fun fact: He's uh, even though his normal image he goes by is Begsus, he's actually he's actually a changeling in disguise. Really? So he's you know rocking the changeling. Yeah. Music. Well, I guess as like as critics of of cutie marks, you don't have. I mean, you've gone out of your way to make them not suck. Yeah, we've we've definitely put a lot of effort into <laughs> not making our OC suck. And even though every episode is like my OC doesn't suck, your OC sucks in the comment section. It's just like ah, shush. Um. How come this one doesn't have a cutie mark? Uh, which one's that? The, the one without a cutie mark. Uh, because he hasn't really made one yet. Oh, it's yeah. it's supposed to be like an atom or something with magic or music notes or something like that. Oh, uh, so he's I, not like a cutie mark crusader. No, he's not a blank flank at all. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's all pretty much seems like the time we have. All right, yeah. I feel like we've gone off the cliff at this point. <laughs> no, it's perfect. Edit us down, and now I'm just looking at your phone. What else you got? You got what pictures on uh, your what, family? What you, uh, yeah, exactly. Baby pictures of my naked bottom. Yeah. Uh, bottom. Yeah. Uh, Tony, it's been great having you here. That's right. Uh, what What's the next thing you're working on that's about to come out? Uh, uh, well, in like two weeks, uh, Friends Forever number seven comes out, and mm -hmm. that's Luna and Pinkie Pie. Sick. And then after that, issue eight is by somebody else, and then issue nine is by me again, and it's uh, Granny and Flim Flam. 
going on that adventure at AppleCon 45, the most crowded AppleCon yet. Nice. <laughs> That's something that I'll definitely have to look out for. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this is Mumfied Thunderbirds talking to uh, Tony Fleece. And Tony, i got to say, your OC does not suck. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. The person who created it, I'm sure, appreciates it. <laughs>